This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Hey everyone, sorry it's me from the future. My whole video was already made, but at the end of my video, I found out accidentally that I may have solved this issue. And I'm putting this at the beginning of the video, so it might be very awkward, but the reason why I'm doing this is because throughout the video, I'm talking about that this issue is unfixable. And the only way to fix it is by starting all over with Linux. But I do talk about a bypass. So that's what the video consists of. I'm doing the bypass of this issue and you're able to use Linux again. But what I didn't know was doing this bypass, I accidentally fixed it or something like that. But you're going to see. So just follow the steps exactly that I'm doing still as the bypass. And it should help you out. But of course, if it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out a different way. But other than that, enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be addressing an issue that some people are having when trying to update in Ubuntu with either the terminal or with the mega script. And you have an error that you can see on the screen that I'm showing with the terminal uh, saying that there's an error here with the signatures not being verified. And also with the mega script saying that you need to verify your internet connection. And both of the errors are the same. And that's what we're gonna be looking into. So with that being said, let's just check it out. Okay, so I've been getting several comments on my Ubuntu videos with people having this exact same error issue that I'm having on my screen. And this error consists of trying to do a software update or system update with Terminal and you're getting this error or you're using the Megascript and trying to do use the online updater by itself or with installing RetroPie and Dolphin and you're getting this error saying that you need to verify that you are connected to the internet in order to continue. Now I am connected to the internet up here and I'm still getting this issue. So after doing some research, I found that there's some good news and there's some bad news. And the bad news may be pretty significant, maybe. But we'll get to that. Let's start with the good news first. So the good news is that we can bypass this error issue and continue using Ubuntu with its natural updates and use our applications and install applications as well. Now I'll be showing this bypass later on in the video, but I want to also talk about the bad news before that, because I always use a mega script when installing something new. And if we can't use the mega script, then I don't know what kind of performance you might get with, let's say installing um, Dolphin or RetroPie as a natural build. But before I get too technical with that, the bad news here is that it could be some type of internet connection issue. So I did some research and even though I was connected to the internet as well, it looks like something happened with the mega script, maybe an internet issue. You dropped connection for a split second while using the mega script and it failed to install this. And because it failed to install it, it no longer has the keys and we can't install it anymore. So the bad news is that the actual fix for this is we need to start fresh with a new Ubuntu. And hopefully this doesn't happen again, but I am connected. I'm always connected. So every time I turn on my Ubuntu device, it always auto connects. So I don't know why it didn't happen to me, but it looks like the majority of this issue is because some type of internet connection happened and it failed to install this. And now it has a failed install and it won't work anymore. And the only solution is to start all over. So I did try to look up this error issue because it's Ubuntu and trying to like update the signature keys and things like that in terminal. And I was unsuccessful. So I may be wrong with trying to fix this. If you know anything about this, you can leave a comment down below and I can try out the options that you may have. But the only fix is that to start all over. And the reason why I say it's uh, it's um, significant is because that what I took from my research as well is that it helps optimize the scripts and the applications when being installed on our device. So I'm not sure if I'm right about this either, but when you're trying to install Dolphin or RetroPie, that 
this repo helps with optimizing for your device. So I have an OLED. If you have a V1, it does its optimization accordingly to your device. And that's what I believe is what this repo is trying to do. So like I said, I may be wrong with it, but unfortunately the only fix is to uh, start all over. So that's what I'm going to have to do because there's some other things that I want to try out on Ubuntu and I would like to have the mega script working. So I'm going to start all over, but it doesn't mean that you have to. So we can bypass this error issue and get an update. And I'm going to try the mega script anyways, after bypassing this issue and see if we can still install anything. So let's go ahead and start with that. Okay. So in order to do this bypass error, we need to disable the repos from the software and updates tab in the settings. So in order to find the settings, we can navigate to the bottom left corner of the screen and click on show applications. And then we're going to want to type in software and updates or just soft. But once you see this option here, just click on the software and updates, and this will bring up the settings for software and updates. And then we can continue from there. All right. So once it opens up, we're going to want to click on this tab that says other software. And this is where it tries to pull from that repo that is giving us that error issue. So what we need to do to disable it is just click on this check mark and then type in the password that we use to create Ubuntu and it disables it. And we're also going to disable this one as well because it's coming from the same source and we can't use it. But after that, we can click on close. It's going to give you this information uh, about the software is out of date. Just click on reload to refresh the cache and it should automatically close on its own. All right, so that's pretty much it. After we disabled those repos, we should be able to do any type of software updates with Terminal or with the Software Updater app. And I'm not sure about the Megascript yet. I'm going to be trying that after. But first, let's try and see if we can do an update with Terminal. So with that, we can go to the Files tab, click on it, and then make sure you're in the Home tab. And then here in the empty space, right click and open a terminal. Once you have a terminal open here, we can type in sudo apt update. Make sure you have an internet connection and then press enter. Type in the password that you use to create Ubuntu and see if it works. So looks like it has worked and we're not getting that error anymore. And it says that we have three packages that can be upgraded. So let's go ahead and do that. sudo apt upgrade. Press enter. All right. It asked me if I want to continue. I'm going to push Y. And now it's upgrading. It looks like it's upgrading those repos that I disabled. It might be a fix. So after this, I'm going to try the mega script and see if it works. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have this done, we can close out of this. And let's go ahead and try the mega script. So going into the mega script in the show applications and with my internet connected, now let's go ahead and try to go and do the um, auto updater. So the issue is not dolphin, it's the auto updater. So if we're able to use the auto updater, we should be able to use dolphin now. So let's go ahead and try to do the install the auto updater. And see if I get any errors now. All right, so it's going to ask me if I want to remove any unused programs. I'm just going to click on yes. All right, so it looks like the Megascript actually ran and I might have solved the issue uh, unexpectedly. So I'm most likely gonna put a message in the beginning of this video that this is a fix because I seem to be fixed without any issues. So I wanna check to see if the uh, updater app has those things checked again so that way uh, maybe it did the update. Oh, it rechecked them again. 
Okay, so it looks like the issue was fixed. <laughs> I did not mean to, for the issue. I tried several different things and I could not get this issue fixed. And it seems like just disabling the repos and then trying to reinstall them was the fix. So, okay, so that's pretty much it. The bypass was supposed to help you just get back on Linux, but it looks like it might have fixed the issue. Now I don't have no issues with the online updater. So, let me know if this helps you out. I looked on so many different sites, so much research and didn't find any answers only for just starting all over. And that's exactly what I was prepared to do. But this bypass seems to have fixed my issue. So just remember uh, to disable those repos on the software updater and make sure you have a strong internet connection and hopefully it works for you but of course if it doesn't let me know in the comments and maybe our only issue is still to start all over but thankfully it looks like i don't have to start all over and i should be able to use the mega script just fine most likely at the end of this video i'll show that i can install something because people are having issues installing retropy and dolphin i have installed retropy here or dolphin i'll mostly most likely show that at the end of this video but so i won't keep more of your time that's pretty much it let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.